Hey, welcome back. Uh, this morning, walk through the boat. Um, I was going to do it yesterday, but I ran out of time. But uh, Stabby Craft, 2100 Frontier. Without a doubt, the best boat I've ever had the pleasure of cruising the rivers of the Territory. Um, amazing big boat. The 2100's a fair bit wide, a little bit more width than the 2050. And then have a hundred and something litres of fuel. So it's a bit of a difference. Gorgeous boat and amazing. Very, very nice. So it's got a 225 on it. I've got the cover on. I won't pull that off. We'll, we'll see that down. I'll show you some more down at when we're on the water. But I just want to one before we before I pack all the stuff. Uh, just show you what it's like in the back. Um, steps. Cruise little steps up. So that's pretty cool. Let's take the don. Take the down the thongs off. No, no shoes in the boat. Uh, bait board rod holder. That's normally for offshore, but it's uh, actually quite handy. And uh, you can stand on this as a casting platform. Um, Carpu out with Simrad system on there. It's got auto, this. This one's got autopilot. <clears throat> All the fruit on there. Forgive the mess. It's a little bit messy, but it, normally it is actually clean. Um, three chairs at the back here for mounting, so we can all sit at the back. Drive, I said it's got, this one's got autopilot, which is pretty darn cool. And uh, rod storage, you can see I've got all my six cents rod holders in there with all our rod, rods for the trip. We've got more there when Snidge gets on board. Um, that's quite handy too. Uh, the older ones didn't, they had a bit of a, a, a bar about here, so you couldn't really fit your rods, so we had to go under floor or on the ground in a rod tube, which was a bit of a pain in the ass, so you couldn't really carry as many. Uh, a lot better in this model so this is a little bit older or later model than uh, Jolly's last one he had heaps of storage this casting well this casting deck I guess you call it okay. there is a massive massive space stereo speakers we've got a motor guide electric motor on there beautiful cover for it to keep it nice and clean uh, one thing that we Jolly has put into it lately is this humidifier uh, from Oz Climate. Brilliant. Put this under your covers when you got it in storage. Keeps all your moisture out of your electrics and everything. Keeps your carpet dry, especially in the tropics. Brilliant. I think about three, four hundred bucks or something. Um, yeah, really worth the investment. Pretty cool. So yeah, plenty of storage. Plenty of those gunnels. Sorry, I'll show you those gunnels. Those gunnels you can see go all the way up the front. You've got couple of spots where your rod holders are but realistically just a ton and ton of space in the stabby uh, fantastic steps steps so just e easy straight up and you've got massive casting area so pretty darn cool um drinks holders bits of grip nice wide gunnels you can stand on stabby super super buoyant so no chance of it rocking and rolling um we've got as I said, heaps of heaps of storage. I've got to put more in there, but there's a ton. We've got chairs, all their lures, uh, safety gear, tarps. I'm loading this up as we speak. Um, massive big esky here. So there's a heap of room here around the center console. And yeah, pretty, pretty darn cool. So looking forward to this lovely lady. Can't wait to get out and get fishing on her. I've had one, one trip on it and it was... Yeah, it's super comfortable, heaps, tons of room, three blokes running around in a fishing comp, definitely no drama. So, Stabby Craft, 2100 Frontier, you got also, sorry, bait box you got there, and you've still got plenty of room under the back there if you need to store stuff as well. So, heaps of, heaps of room there. Um, ton of space under the console as well and also behind this pad on the console there's another little back door so that gives you another like I guess a water safe area in here to store right behind the sound area and then also eat more easy access to get to your electric so that's pretty darn cool as well so definitely very nice the stabbies are the, probably as I said my favorite boat um, it's a bit of a love affair it's very hard to get hold of them if you get one you probably don't want to get rid of it I'll just get you out of the boat. Um, yeah, so 225 on that. Um, yeah, 
beautiful lines. You can see that buoyancy uh, in the hull there, that line. So all up here is all that float, extra flotation, but it just makes it super stable. So these are fantastic for rivers and out in the ocean. Um, Joel takes his both with his kids and he knows he's safe and the kids are safe, which is, as a parent is always also really, really good. So very, very cool. And uh, yeah, if you have the pleasure of being able to get one of these, I highly, highly recommend them. Um, they are very much, as I said, very much sought after. <clears throat> Probably took 12 months before he actually could find one, but this one. But uh, <clears> the <throat> 2100, it is a big difference over the 2050. Um, electric brakes, electric control brakes on this. It's, it is a big boat. It's got a big weight with a 21 footer. Um, but yeah, it pulls it with a Hilux, no dramas at all. In and out of the water, piece of cake. So <clears throat> yeah, very, very nice and very hard to beat it. Uh, I said, yeah, probably, uh, I think it's about, don't quote me on the specs, but probably 50 mil wider than the 2050, which makes a big difference when you're walking around all day in the boat and, and working in it. And fuel wise, I think it's about a hundred and something liters more. So, and that again, makes a big difference. Difference between taking a, if you're doing those long offshore runs out to the islands and stuff. Uh, yeah, huge, huge difference. So. Very, very cool. Um, I will show you more once we get on the water. We can show you the sounder. And once we've got it all set up, I'll give you a little bit more of that. So we'll swap over to that one and that'll be, yeah, we'll do the intro and then we'll go into on the boat on the water. As I say, adio. See you next. Hey, well, welcome back. Radio, second part of the walkthrough on the Stabby. We're on the water down at the Daily after two years in a pandemic. So, I just wanted to show you the boat basically once you're set up and ready to go. So, two storage compartments up the front, uh, anchor well for the electric anchor. Obviously, the motor guide there. We didn't couldn't see that all yesterday that had the cover on and just some spotties for those morning runs. So that works out really well. Heaps and heaps of space to walk around. And you go back, back down where the boys are already fishing. Morning, gents. Morning. And there you can see three chairs at the back, heaps of side room, rods galore, space in those side gunnels. That's pretty awesome. And then heaps of room even for like your uh, lure retrievers and stuff like that. And, whatever else you need to bring. So there's a ton of room. There's that massive big esky, which is a double chair, so that works out pretty well. And then you got to step down the bottom, so when you're coming down. And then, yeah, a little bit more at the back. There's the engine at work, and then there's a bit of the river. So the stabby is going great. And uh, with the Simrad system on, running on this, showing a little bit of the bottom there, the Daly River. Speedo, got that there, trip, tachometer, fuel, and we've also got autopilot controls for the lock off or your fuses. A ton of storage. I think we showed you a bit of that yesterday. But uh, yeah, plenty of storage down here for stuff that needs to stay dry. And what we didn't show you yesterday was that little spot under here, which opens and you've got space for tools and more gear and, and access to all your electronics so pretty darn good and very lucky to be on it so speakers and stuff you can fit them in as you need and just a ton of room if you're going to cast or troll or whatever you're going to do um yeah stubby is a beast radio well that's it for the bit of the walkthrough from the stubby you can see it uh, there's a sort of running line down there the water, that's where, how it sits in the water. Nice, uh, nice and flat. You see, moving from side to side, you don't get that rock and roll that you normally do in the normal boats because that's buoyancy. So yeah, works out a treat. Right now, we're gonna get back into our orientation day. And yeah, hope you enjoy this little walk through of the new boat, new stubby for the Mighty Tigers. Right now, we'll see you on orientation video. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. See you later, peace.